as you think about your Christian journey and the ways that you're being led to serve, um, I think First Pres gives a fantastic opportunity no matter what direction you feel like you're being led. First Presbyterian, though, has always been a warm church to me. Before I came here, church was just emotion. It was just something that I did. It was something that I'd always done. And when I came here, it became a bigger part of my life. I was actively searching to understand things around me and understand what this should mean to me. I like having the different ministers. Um, each one has a little bit different delivery, um, and I enjoy that. You draw something different out of each one of them. When we stepped into the sanctuary here, it was kind of like just putting on that old sweatshirt. I mean, it was comfortable, it was warm, it was inviting. Um, it was everything that I was looking for, you know, with the traditional stained glass windows, the organ, the pulpit. I mean, it just, it just felt right. You know, as a father, I think about my children and, you know, how we want to raise them and just the opportunities for them to be brought up in this church with the different positive influences they have and the great experiences they have, whether it's Bible school or, you know, Sunday school, even from We Ones Worship, everything. It's just been just really comforting to know that they're being influenced in such a great way. There is um, an abundance of opportunities for anybody who wants to be involved in First Presbyterian. And I think it depends on kind of the stage of your life, what you want to do. I like the way the church outreaches into the community through Jubilee Kitchen, uh, Salvation Army, uh, Dinner, a CCAP, um, because I think it means a lot to reach outside your doors immediately in the local area. Uh, to do things, and I think this church does a very good job at that. I served on session uh, for two years, um, uh, was with the Fellowship Council, and what a fantastic experience. Music's always been a huge part of my life. I absolutely love what we sing and what we work on. I don't think I would ever have started singing in my school chorus or in the Arts Academy Chorale had I not sung here and had that to be a part of. We both really believe in living our faith. And that's one thing we really agree on, and, and we do together. I'll be the one who would get up and talk to four services. Nathan won't. But when it comes to outreach, he may be the first person to do that. So that's how being an elder and being faithful to this church happens for the two of us. I'm on fellowship council, and I really enjoy doing that because it's, it's a very busy activity. and You're doing dinners and, and those kind of things, and I really enjoy doing that. The draw is the people. The people are, are, are friendly. And the more you work in, um, as you said, I'm a doer, the more you work on councils or projects, uh, the more of the, the church family you meet. And then the more it feels like a church family, you know, because you have people there you feel like you, you're connected to. When people see what this church means to this area and the people that come here, um, it's not hard to, you know, convince somebody to want to come here. Um, you know, they may come with us, you know, one week as a friend or whatever, but, you know, once they're here and, and see, you know, what's happening here, uh, it's easy for people to want to come back. People that are members of the congregation and visitors were just so open to, you know, accepting new people uh, at the church and, and just offering different conduits for us to get involved uh, so you don't feel like you're just a visitor. You feel like you're part of a family. And that probably is one of the things that we are most impressed with. We know we have wonderful ministers and wonderful staff, and we know we have um, wonderful activities. In fact, I don't even know how parents sometimes keep up with everything that goes on in this church. So I know they pick and choose. The most important thing is that, that our people, our church members, go out and, and live what we learn. It's, it's not like there's a specific person here who teaches you more than anything else. It's that everybody has an impact. Everybody helps everyone else grow. And I think that'd be a great thing for every, anybody else to be a part of. We are walking to your
Jesus.